Hi there, Property Tribes TV on the road again, this time from Cornwall. And I'm actually down here for a couple of days talking on one of my favourite subjects, that's holiday let strategies with Alan and Dee Palin. So welcome guys. Hi, yeah. Great to see you here. And um, I've got to say, look at this amazing view behind us. How much has being involved in property enabled you to wake up to this view every morning? Oh, it's been the difference in our life really, hasn't it? It's, uh, if it wasn't for us moving down here, I don't think we would be as heavily involved in property as we are. Not at all. It's created a tremendous opportunity for us over the last 11 years, really. Now, you're big fans of, of holiday lets, yep. and that's really what your business focuses around, but you've got different strands to that. Could you just talk us through your various strategies? Uh, I think the bulk of what we've done has actually been this particular property here where it's eight holiday apartments literally looking over Lou Bay uh, and we bought that back in 2000 so that actually is we've had a lot of growth in the actual value of the property uh, and from that we've actually been uh, developing a, a model that people can actually buy from us and uh, and then we carry on managing for them and let, letting people have a bit of what we've got uh, that's actually given us a bit more income to actually carry on developing elsewhere uh, and from there we've actually expanded into uh, another property we're doing literally just around the corner uh, which can be a fantastic holiday home uh, up for up to about 10 people but we've also sort of ventured into more traditional buy to lets as well but but really the focus for us we enjoy properties like this it's the location you know you, you can't mm -hmm. beat it down here no absolutely why, why do you focus so much on, on coastal property uh, why do you feel so passionate about it from an investment point of view I think you know, at the end of the day, you know, people's dream is to come on holiday by the sea. You know, we're very lucky that we get a chance to welcome people on holiday here by the sea, and we also get the opportunity to live here. So, you know, we like to be able to share a bit of that with our customers, and hopefully share the dream, and they'll keep coming back. Absolutely, and you, you also believe in coast, what I call coastal appreciation as well. That there's, it's very robust, isn't it? It's got yeah. a strong intrinsic value. Coastal well, property. We're just in the process of actually uh, uh, one of our sales going through at the moment, and actually pre what we call. You know, the crunch, uh, the price has actually gone up slightly here in that time. So actually where our other po po uh, properties in our portfolio possibly have maybe levelled off or maybe dipped slightly, uh, you know, it's not actually uh, hit us at all down here. Mm -hmm. And you very much uh, follow sort of my philosophy as well about you want to give a really upmarket product. Yeah, no, and in fact that's probably key. We've owned the property for 10 years, this one, uh, or 11 years now actually, yeah. and uh, it was it was nice quality, three star when we bought it, but now we're five star and we really try and do it top end and we found it's actually an easier business model to work with. Uh, mm. It's less wear and tear, people respect what you've got and actually you can charge more, but I still think we're probably some of the best value for money around here because of it's you know what we provide you know for that money. So, mm -hmm. uh, so I think if you're gonna do it, that's definitely how I would approach it. And do you feel that the coast, the British coast, is underrated as a holiday destination? Because, I mean, it is so beautiful. When the sun's shining, you can't beat this, can oh, you? I, you just, I mean, for me, I suppose, it's as a child, you know, lived in London, you'd go down to Brighton, you'd go down to sort of like you know, Camber Sands where, where you've got your holiday lets. Mm -hmm. uh, and so for us, it, it, it's, it's just that nostalgia. And I think maybe the 40 to 50 year bracket you know that's what we were brought up with as children and uh, and, and uh, we, we love it here and you haven't got a hassle of flying uh, every time there's some sort of national incident that you know BA going on strike uh, terrorism in the world mm. it's you know people, recession recession <laughs> you know it's uh, yeah it, uh, and it's fantastic down here and I think but also increasingly I think you find people's holiday patterns are changing so people aren't gearing up for the one holiday a year they're taking a few breaks that might be shorter breaks and mm -hmm. I think that that enables the coastal location like us to appeal to that market because mm -hmm. people can look to come for a short break, not just a week or a two week holiday. No, I totally agree with you on that, definitely. And just to finish then really, you're committed to this as a long term strategy. Mm -hmm. Are you po you're obviously positive about the future of, of holiday lets in the UK? Uh, we feel more confident with the holiday side of things just because of you, they're, they're not building houses in these positions anymore. Mm. And I just think with basic supply and demand, uh, and I think also people's aspiration is to make be retired by the by the coast by the sea so i think that's a good exit strategy at some point so uh and, and in fact it's more interesting i'd rather work here than in the middle of a city mm -hmm. so uh yeah no no we're, we're, we're very much in favor and think it's the way to go and i think it's actually quite rewarding as well isn't it because when we read the comments in our guests book and we see that they've had you know in our comments book from our guests and we see that they've had a really wonderful holiday and they've gone away with Absolutely. happy memories it's actually yeah. really rewarding isn't it yeah, Dee? yeah. yeah. No, brilliant no, no, it's fantastic 
Okay, well, congratulations on everything you've achieved, and it's been lovely talking to you. That's Dee and uh, Alan Palin down here in beautiful Loo in Cornwall, and I hope you've enjoyed watching this Property Tribes TV interview. Thanks for watching.